I finally got some colour on Battle Cruiser, and um, there's a couple of schools of thought on uh, what colours we used because uh, there were two models made by AMT, uh, and one of them has been repainted years ago. So the original documentation on the model is, you know, kind of impossible to come by or just doesn't exist at all. Um, so the only reference really is uh, the Roddenberry model, which was the model that was built by AMT also to be used as a prototype for the model kit, uh, which is this model kit in actual fact. This is a repop of that kit. I've gone for the teal kind of blue underneath, uh, although in person it's, it's got more green tones. Um, and on camera it looks like it's coming out kind of a more blue. Um, on top I used a mixture of, uh, yeah, I've actually got this somewhere. I used these two and lit them up a little bit with a bit of white. Basically I wanted to get a little bit of a mid-ground between what the model probably actually looked like and um, uh, how it looked on TV and uh, obviously <laughs> to everybody on television the model looked just flat grey everywhere you know you can either paint it to look like the Roddenberry model and the Roddenberry model uh, actually looks like this is a little bit violet even uh, I don't really know if that's true or not I used to think that for, for a long time but um, although it didn't show up quite like I wanted it to now uh, when I had my original primer on, which is this, just a grey, um, uh, I did the I did the blue, the, the grey underneath first, and um, it actually changed how my eyes perceived the grey on the the primer on the top, and it definitely shifted it to the violet sort of scale. Um, it didn't really do it with this, so I don't know quite what was up with that, but I kind of suspect that the violet issue was a little more to do with cameras and lighting because grey can turn into just about any colour that's why there's so much confusion as to you know what colour the Enterprise was uh, this model's no different funnily enough uh, basically and oh the teal uh, the teal was uh, custom mixed uh, I actually used uh, the colour for my Enterprise B kit which um, is just a hair away from being finished. Um, I'll most likely do a, a finished video on that too. But I had half a bottle of the stuff lying around. And uh, it wasn't going to be used on anything anytime soon, so I just decided to use it on this. The, the colour was pretty close. Um, uh, so I just put a little, added a little white just to sort of lighten it up a wee bit. And applied it to here, and I'm, I'm really happy with how it came out. Basically, uh, look, some issues with the model. I mean, there are seams everywhere. Um, uh, and actually, the, this boom here is slightly warped, and I didn't notice until after I put it on, which really sucks. Um, I think I can try and fix it. Because I think most of the problem is actually uh, the bridge section, which isn't glued on yet, which is sort of slipping to one side, which doesn't really help things. Uh, there we go. And but yeah, I really like how the uh, the blue came out. Uh, looks really kind of 1960s green blue color. Um, really really dig it uh, and the bridge I pretty much finished it uh, it's been masked off the teal went on first and I masked off the entire bridge section and the detail behind it and applied my custom grey color now next up will be I might even get to it today I'm not sure is uh, these areas which are 
going to be, I haven't finalized a color, I'm probably going to have to custom mix one because uh, I have built the polar lights one before and on that for these areas I used a color a lot more like this and it didn't look good. Uh, I didn't like it because honestly on a mole you kind of want a little bit of color variation and putting this color on that section just really made it look boring. Um, because it really is just a different shade of what's already on the kit and um, I'm kind of I really don't know what color to, to make them I really don't I really don't know I'm kind of maybe a dark iron I really don't know I'll have to I'll have to think of something for the wee nub though the detail part will be uh, I'm using a copper some paint breaking on the bottom of that. Be using gold leaf for the accents. Uh, this kit, this repop, actually has um, really awesome decals. And f for the first time, I think in history, uh, they've actually got the colours of uh, the the Klingon emblem correct, instead of having. Uh, you know, blue, green, and red, or whatever it was. They've actually got the forest green and the really dark, pretty much black. And yeah, it is black. Um, and red. And the TCS markings here, um, that little extra marking uh, right there was I'm pretty sure unique to the Robinberry model. I don't think that was ever on the filming miniature. Uh, so I might put that on or we'll take it off depending on what I feel like at the time. But I'm really looking forward to putting those decals on here because um, I think they're going to look really good against the um, against the grey that I've chosen. Well, I don't quite remember where I left off last, but um, painting on this kit is complete and I've got to say it really came out a lot better than I hoped um, as soon as I put that weathering on there the whole the whole project just seemed to pop um, I think I already discussed the main colors uh, and I think when I left off last I was about to do detail painting. I first I coloured these sections, you know, the vents, um, and for that I used to me XF84 dark iron, which was this one here. And um, while after I did that, I I just sort of um, I don't know. I I just started playing around with the airbrush. And uh, started putting weathering on in a couple of places. I think I actually started with these bits here, on the um, on the nacelles, and um, and then just started going over the hole with it. And uh, the thing about this grey colour, uh, these flat kind of colours, is that they take weathering really well. I mean, you can see streaking and um, uh, just sort of burn marks. And things and um, I, I really I really think it turned out quite well um, I'm really pleased with it and to be honest I wasn't having the most fun painting this kit I hope you can't hear them they're my neighbors oh, I hate them they're nice people but they're crazy they're absolutely nuts um, what was I saying yeah, I wasn't having the most fun painting this for some reason. I don't know why, I just thought, I guess I was having an off day with the airbrush. Um, doing these base colours here. Um, but, as I say, as soon as I put on that weathering, everything just popped. And um, I'm a little bit fan of that streak in there. I never ever set out to weather a model. In fact, in my mind, this kit... I wanted just to have it, uh, you know, like the studio colours. Really flat, clean, normal. 
Um, and I always end up changing my mind. Uh, which is a good thing, because, uh, I mean, I don't know of many other modelers, but you have your plans, and they never stay the same. They always change. Um, and that's quite good. I'm happy with the way that works, because the way I work is I just go on the fly. I do things as I feel they need done, and it all tends to work out in the end. Uh, the only actually other bit of painting I have to do is this part, which goes on there. I'm just going to do the, hull, the blue hull colour on that and leave it be. Uh, next up, I'll get to put these really cool decals on and the whole thing will be finished. Hey again, uh, the model's being clear coated and is looking nice and glossy. Um, I used this Hombro Clear uh, gloss varnish which is acrylic based uh, and I actually brushed it on uh, I brushed it on the top and on the bottom uh, and the reason I brush it on is because I like to minimize my uh, uh, airbrush cleaning time as much as possible <laughs> and uh, the great the thing I really like about Humbro Clear is uh, it self levels so you can brush it on and it just looks just looks fine brushed on. Originally I was using a, the Tamiya spray but it, stuff was kind of a bit scary to use. Uh, I've already used Humbrol Clear on my Enterprise Beacon and it turned out fine. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy so far. I, next up, decals. <laughs> 